Hey three commas traders, my name's Jared and I'm a three commas representative. Today, I'll be going over the smart trade section to help you understand how it works and how to make your very own smart trade. In this video, we'll be going over how to make a long trade on a bullish markets. If you're trying to make a short trade, we put a link in the description to our video on that. We've made some significant updates to our smart trade section and thought it would be a great idea to go over those. Without further delay, let's get right into this. So now that we're on three commas, let's go ahead and go to the smart trade section. To do this, all you gotta do is go to the left side of the screen and click smart trade. The smart trade section is designed to help you plan to buy and sell at the same time so you don't have to be watching the market all day. You can set up a stop loss and multiple take profit conditions at the same time, even before the coin is purchased. You're also able to use the provided chart from TradingView to do some technical analysis to help you make the most out of your trading experience here on 3 Commas. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the TradingView chart, I've provided sources in the video's description. Moving on, up here you can select the exchange you'd like to work with, the market you'd like to work with, which in this case is USDT, and then the trading pair I'd like to work with, which for now, I'm just selecting Bitcoin. Over here, we'll show the ask price and the bid price. The bid price is the highest price that a trader making a purchase is willing to pay for a given token. The ask price is the lowest price that another trader selling the token is willing to accept for the same asset. There are five sections to choose from, which each offer their own trading abilities and tools. The buy sell section is for making quick purchases or quickly selling the funds on a minimalistic UI. The smart trade section is where we will be today. This section is used for making long trades. A long trade is a trade that would be made in expectations that the price of the token will rise. If the token's price does increase, the trader can sell it at a profit. In our example, we're going to plan a purchase of an asset, a stop loss for the asset, and lastly, we're going to make two target profit percentages and split the funds between the two goals we created. The smart sell option will allow you to sell tokens you already own, planning the best moment to take profit with existing tokens. We will be going over these three sections now, and smart cover and smart buy in the next video we create on short trades. Now let's move on to the buy sell section. Here in the buy sell section, you can easily make a purchase by entering the amount of units you'd like to purchase. So for example, we'll put 0.1 Bitcoin. We want it to be a limit purchase. We want to purchase this at 27,500. And we only want to spend 5% of our total amount in USDT that we have. And next, all we got to do is click buy. As you can see in the active section, the order is placed and it is currently waiting for the price of Bitcoin to drop to 27,500 USDT. If I want to go ahead and cancel this, I can go over to the right side, click the three dots and click on cancel. You can also click open now if you just wanted to purchase the Bitcoin at the current market price. The share button will allow you to make a link to share with others so they can see the settings used for the trade. This green button right here will allow you to refresh the trade to get an updated amount. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this trade. Click confirm and the trade is canceled. Now to the sell, it would be about the same steps as before, except you're selling the tokens. So I want to sell 0.1 Bitcoin. I want it to be a limit. I want the price to be 30,000. We're going to select 5% because we only want to use 5% of our balance. Then we click sell. And as you can see, it made the deal and it is currently waiting for the price to hit 30,000 to sell. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and click three dots. And let's just say we want to sell now. So we're going to click open now, confirm. And there we are, the trade is closed. Now that we went over the buy and sell section, let's head over to the smart trade section. So here we have three sections that we need to edit the units, the buy price and the total. So the units, let's say we want to purchase 0.1 Bitcoin for the buy price. Let's say we want it to be a market order. We want it to open up right away. 
trailing buy is one of the options provided on three commas that allow you to get the best out of your trading. If you enable it, it will wait until the price rises the set percentage before making the purchase to make sure it's making it on a bullish market. I have put an article in the description of this video if you want to learn more about our trailing options. The total amount of USDT was already decided because we placed that we wanted 0.1 Bitcoin. Moving on, we need to set a take profit. So we're going to go over to here and click set take profit. This will open up the take profit options. For this example, we're going to have the take profit be a limit order. We want it to rise 5% before taking profit, but we want to split target. So when splitting targets, we'll notice a volume slider comes up. For the first take profit order, let's say we want to use 50% of our funds. And there we go at 5%. We click add TP targets. Next, we have one more take profit target we have to add. So we're going to say we want it to rise 10%. Once this is set, set the volume to whatever amount you'd like. Click add TP target. Now we can see here the quantity 50% and 50% equal 100%. So we are using all of our funds here. Trailing take profit is another option that you can enable, which will follow the price down the set percentage until it will actually make the sell. This allows you to get a higher percent on the sells that you have. This can allow you to make more profits in a shorter amount of time. I put a link in the description if you'd like to find out more about this option. Keep in mind, the trailing take profit will only trigger for the last targets. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and set a stop loss. You do not need to set a stop loss if you do not want to, but it is offered. So for our stop loss, we're going to choose conditional market order. The conditional limit order will be a limit order. The conditional market order will be a market order. Both will be triggered depending on the current price of the token. As explained before, you can select the bid price the ask price, or the last price, which would be the last price the token was sold for. For our example, we're going to set the stop loss at minus 10%. We want a stop loss timeout of 300 seconds just because we don't want it triggering at just a sharp drop if it's going to recover right away. Trailing stop loss will work like trailing take profit. And again, I have placed an article in the description if you'd like to learn more about this. We're not going to enable it for this example. The move to break even option will allow you to close the trade for the even amount that you started with. So now that we have our trade made, let's go ahead and click create trade. Click confirm if you like the settings. And there we are, the trade is made. As we can see down here, it is currently waiting to make the purchase using trailing buy. You can click this arrow to hide or show more settings and your smart trade is created. Moving on to the smart sell section. The only difference here is that you would use the tokens that you already have. So let's say that we already had that 0.1 Bitcoin and we purchased this Bitcoin for let's just say 29,000. So this means it would skip the first purchase step and go right to the take profit step. We're not going to create this because it's the same as before, but you already have the tokens in this case, the Bitcoin. That's going to wrap up this episode on long trades with the smart trade section. As always, you can find more helpful sources in the video's description. If you have any other questions or concerns, our support team is always available and can be found on our website. Thanks so much for watching and learning with us. And as always, happy trading.